All right. Got the invite here by... I got my invite from Thorsey, and I feel special. There we go. And it was Metalopolis' wow. map choice here. So yeah. I, I like this map choice, too, because basically... Um, when somebody chooses this, it's like, go ahead and six skate me. I dare you to yep. six skate me because this map is very hard to hold it. Uh, Tholzane is just the king of holds, so he's True. like, whatever, man, I don't care. Uh, so we'll have to see, and especially on this map as well, it's very, very good for drops, um, depending on where you spawn as well. But it, even if you spawn cross position, it's still very good for drops. So uh, we'll see Tholzane do that. So it looks like Tholzane is ready, is night end. Let's check night end. Okay, go. So let's get into this game, the the third map between this. So if you went ahead and said on Twitter that you thought it would be 2-0 for either player, <laughs> sorry, if you said 2-1, either way, you're still in for a shot to win the Q pad. Yep. Uh, you did. So let's find out. Will it be Thorzane? Will it be Nighten going forward on this? Both of them playing rather interesting styles. I'm have to say. And here we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to bring you Mouse Sports Thorzane. He is in the red trunks and he is playing Terran to the west of the Metalopolis versus his opponent, Fnatic Night End. He is in the blue trunks and he is playing Protoss to the east. And cross position. So I expect Thorzane, he could open up with uh, some form of refinery play in, in Marauder, Pressure, Reaper, Expand, or something like this. But it, I wouldn't even be surprised if he just went ahead and won. Um, barracks expand like it's totally fine to do so Thorzane's the king of holds don't know how he does it uh, if anybody remembers I think the games from Blizz EU maybe or I think it was yeah Blizz EU where he played against Naniwa I think um, on this map as well like he just holds in the weirdest impossible case scenarios yeah, in the world yeah. like, and he still comes ahead because of mules he said in an interview after that as well I was like well guess what mules are pretty good I can, I can recover a lot faster than anybody else can so yeah that's, that's one of the things you got to bear in mind with Terran I suppose while we've been spending a long time pointing out that Terran have problems reinforcing you know, they are the worst of the three races when it comes to reinforcing in a rapid fashion they simply require more buildings in order to make that happen but what they are good at is regaining a lot of money very very fast thanks yeah. to their use of mules so they've generally always got a trust fund so they're consistently building all the time uh, it's, it's not a sudden burst of units it's always always rolling the Terran war machine continues to grind on but let's see what Thorzane does here and uh, this is going to be a close match at one way or the other I feel and we've seen a third chrono boost gone into the uh, the, the Nexus, Nexus yep. sorry so it's not going to be an aggressive kind of play nope. I wouldn't even be surprised if you can use like four you actually can use four chrono boost <coughs> a lot so there's the third chrono boost coming in uh, 13 gateway means three chrono boost usually uh, nice and passive play you can get away with a fourth so I would not be surprised if night end used a fourth chrono boost uh, if you use a fourth chrono boost you only have one left which usually is the stalker and it's basically saying I don't want to rush to get my warp get out and against a player like uh, Thorzin who doesn't take gas as we're seeing here that may be something night end will just want to do just go ahead and expand nice and fast here uh, I mean there's no threat you don't need to get warp get out immediately um, simply because there's not gonna be any pressure so or maybe something, but Night End does scout the lack of gases, though. That's the most important thing here with this probe. Yep, he knows that, which really is only ever going to be two things. It's going to be some kind of crazy cheese, which from Thor's end is not going to happen, or it is going to be... Oh, Duke. This one, right. Oh, yeah, nicely done. Uh, it's just going on in the base right there. Using yeah. the smoke to kind of hide and then go the other way. Yeah, so. he can't get out, but, you know, it, it was kind of neat nonetheless, I suppose. Second gas has been taken, though, by Night End, so hmm. he isn't into it yet, but he will be. But going. So basically, I mean, he's going for a stalker, first of all. Chronobus and that out as well, the, the, uh, the Cybercore, but... Is he going to go ahead and, and, and tech up to something? I, I don't think he is. But at the same time, he may do because usually he likes to play um, equal. He likes to play macro versus macro. And when you take yep. a second gas like this, you want to go sentry heavy, but you go for a lot later expansion. Um, so he could go one gate expansion, but he also could tech. He may want to go blink. It's possible. Um, we do have a probe hiding. So a second probe is going out. This may be a, a chosen probe to do some crazy stuff. And we'll have to see what he decided to do. There's the probe. So another gateway goes down. Three gateways. So he could go three gates. Um, he could go robo, but probably not. He could just go three gate pressure straight away. Yeah. Uh, and this stalk is actually looking for the SUV. And if it finds it, Night End fans, you should cheer and drink Romanian shots. <sighs> I don't know what you drink down there, like Polyker well, or something. Well, they ain't going to be drinking anything right now because he missed it, unfortunately. He's... S just he's just sitting there. I don't really know why. And he's got his stalker there. And he did miss it. And Thorzane's SUV is going to get oh, away. Oh no! 
Swedish fans go crazy because Thorzin's gonna scout the lack of expansion. He's gonna go into mm -hmm. the main and see the three gateways. And as soon as the SCV sees there's no expansion, we probably should be expecting Thorzin to throw a second bunker down to be 100% certain on holding this. Uh, because right now it's still a gamble, especially because sentries, he's got a lot of gas, he can force field the ramp and so on. Uh, so not throwing down the second bunker immediately is a little bit of a gamble here from Thorzain. Uh, he's pulling SCVs. Is he going to build a bunker though? Well, I have no idea. All right. Well, he's just going to okay. use SCVs to repair. So, um, I mean, sentries are going to be able to do a ton of damage here because they're going to be able to force field around the bunker. So. Yes, they are. However, right. there are actually no sentries on the field yet. Yeah, and he's got the gas for it. He would need a, another warp, another round of warp -ins. But he's just going to be sniping away with the stalkers at the moment ah! at the back. Yeah, yes, absolutely. That, that is what I would say if I were a stalker right now, as Thorzain was able to flank away around, and that if he had, the stalker has had any mouths, which they don't. So uh, we've got some zealots oh. warped in instead. So this is an interesting one. I. Don't well, he needs to. Really he wants know. to get zealots at the front so stalkers can like yeah, stay course, alive yeah. for longer. Uh -huh. But I, I am surprised by the the lack of sentries in this play. I mean, he's got 500 gas. He's, I know, got, yeah, he's, he's reacting to the composition, realizing that it's just marines and force fields are good. But he won't have enough time to get a guarding shield up, which is ideally what he wanted. But he could have warped in a sentry a lot earlier. Uh, and he does want more stalkers out to kill the uh, marines because obviously stalkers with kiting ability, when you get enough of them, are going to be able to just melt these marines so easily. Yeah. But once again, Thorzain, the king of holds, man. <laughs> he's at four barracks as well. He's got a tech lab, so he can start marauder production. Uh, and he's going to get straight into concussive shells. So as long as he can just survive and keep the CC up for a longer time and not lose too many SCVs, he's going to be in great position. Yeah, because of course, the longer this goes on on one base for Night End, the worse it's going to get for him. He's got to do the damage to make this worthwhile. And the CC is actually forced backwards, which is a little bit of a victory here for Night End. And I have to wonder if he wants to continue committing. I mean, obviously, he wants to stop that command center from being replaced, yeah. and then he can actually get ahead. But more importantly, if he's going to continue with this pressure, they're... Ooh, and nicely done there. We've got the uh, engineering bay being put down just to delay the expansion there. A couple of sentries are now in the composition here for Night End. So I don't know how much damage he can really do. He's prevented a lot of mining. He'd love to kill the command center. That would be ideal for him. So let's see what he decides to do yeah. here and what he's able to do more at the I point. I mean, he's saving up energy. Ideally, he'd like to Guardian Shield up, but he's going to have to wait a long time for that. So another 30 energy needed. So he's going to continue to harass, maybe wait and then go in, but he oh, could he get be, surrounded. He can go in now, actually. Because the shells are done. Yeah, he could go in now. He's got a Guardian Shield now ready. There was one that had slightly more energy than the others. But let's see. I, th I think this is probably going to be his final commitment. Either he goes in now and he does tons of damage or he has to pull back. He can't just keep pushing on this pressure because he is economically behind. And Thorzane is actually getting caught up on as a result of all of this mining time being lost here and not yeah. being able to mine from that expansion. So much Chrono Boost. And again, on the main Nexus of Night End at 100 again. That can yeah. be Gateways. That can be Nexus. That can be... The observer, he loves Chronobus, not observer. Um, but once again, Thorzane's got enough to hold against this push right now. Yeah. And force fields can cut and dice in between the armies, but overall, there's just too much stuff here. It's yeah, four the, barracks. The, the, the push is done, really, for Night End now. And Night End knows this and is backing off. And I suppose the analysis then has to be did it do enough to be worthwhile? Um, well, it did to a certain extent. He, he's, uh, but I mean, no, he didn't do enough. What I'm about, it's it's done enough to hold um, Thorzin in his base. But this counterattack is just way too much. The four barracks is the biggest thing here. Um, it just adds an, a complete new um, wave of units to yeah, this, it and it's just too much. The combat shields is about to be done, and I, now, I don't even think Night End can hold this. He's getting two more gateways as well. Um, he's going to have to cut so well to defend this, incredibly well. He's trying to get out an immortal as well to help defend but I, I don't know it could just die to this he really could just die to this he has to cut so well with sentries we'll see it slices it dices and will it be good enough more to the point and will it be well placed because if it's not then this is it for night end oh. Thorzane will crush through this there is an immortal on the way up there's so many marines there I don't know how much difference it's going to make and there we go it's, it's actually just provided a perfect firing arc there oh. for Thorzane oh night end is almost completely surrounded we've got more force fields going down will that be enough Extra, the immortal damage in a marine, but he's... I don't know. He's going to go enough, I don't think. Um, I don't know. He may be able to hold Ooh, this. Maybe, uh, yeah, the immortal does go down, and Thorzane's army is actually melting quite rapidly. Didn't lose a lot of SCVs in that push either, so Knighted holds on, and... 
Mm. And it's just this is just a really weird engagement's going on in this. But now it's five gateways in a robotics facility. Um, he could turn around and just go counter. It is a weird game of uh, tug of war right now. Yeah, it is. Um, there's still no probes to be made. He's at a very low probe count of 31, <coughs> and it is just going to be that he's warping in more units. He's just going to go for it. And right now, Thor's in is in the dark. He has no idea. He's building a second bunker though, um, so he is expecting some form of counter. He doesn't know about the extra gateway he's been added on, uh, and he doesn't know about this this army on the right hand side. So. Thor's in could actually lose to this counter attack right now. It's kind of back and forth, but yeah. he doesn't have enough. We keep, we keep he saying can, this, don't we? It's like, oh, he could lose to this, he could lose that, and he could. But uh, Force field on the ramp right now. He can cut behind these bunkers if he doesn't replace in time. I mean, get the SFVs behind in time. Yeah, this no, is... Uh, this, this use is, the Chrono Boost into the Gateway's Night End. Yes. You have another 100 on that natural. Coach Apollo says you must use your Chrono Boost yeah. into your Gateway's here. Another round of Zealots being there walked in. Night End's army is massive in comparison to Thor's Ains. Thor's Ains might be the king of holds, but I have to wonder if it's even possible to hold something this powerful with that few units. Thor's I guess completely in the dark. He has no idea about this coming. Absolutely no idea. And Stim is done, but he just doesn't have enough... I think just doesn't have enough. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, the, the with the immortal are as well. Certainly problematic. Force yeah, field on the ramp. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Here yeah. it goes. Uh, and that first bunker going to go down immediately. Oh, look at that! The number of units blocked off at the back here by that excellent force field placement there by Night End, pushing his way into this base. Wants to bring down the second bunker. If he can do that, he might be able to snap through. Will Thorzin be able to hold up against this? The concussive shell is able to smash through the shields of the immortal, and it almost goes down. But Night End does keep it alive now, and it's now just walking over. This this expansion and Thorzain is in trouble. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Thorzain is in trouble. It, he has got plus one though. It finished just as in the middle of that fight, so that's going to help out a little bit. But the sheer quantity of units, the immortals in the mix that can't be touched by anything. <sighs> Thorzane's well, in trouble. Thorzane's got a shooting gallery to go in for right here. Those zealots at the front are not able to break through this wall off. They are denying mining mm. from the natural expansion, which is perhaps the thing that's making the most difference considering that's going on right there. And Thorzane looking to deny the third with the factory once again. That's not going to help. I don't I think that even needs to take a third at this point. You can just go two base Colossus yeah. and wreck this composition entirely. And... Uh, it's, it's looking dicey for Thorzane, and you would have thought that that attack that he put in would be, have been more effective, but Night End held it so very well, even though he was massively outnumbered there. And while Thorzane holds on to this, it's still only one base, and yeah, it's, it's yeah. oversaturated and it's getting mined out. Yeah, there's no money in it, there's no gas either, Colossus on the way, can't afford to build Vikings for number one. Uh, he has to get a natural up as soon as possible, but you know, Night End's going to make it hard for him to get that natural up and running for sure. He can actually hold him in the main base a lot with force fields. Um, he's just going to sit there and prevent him coming down. And Colossus is on the way now. We have a single one. Thermal ants being made as well. The gas is taken on the natural. Ooh, Ooh, he ah, does have gonna elevate Vikings back. landed as well. <laughs> so the Vikings in the mix, but. He does have plus one. I think he might have enough here to yeah, actually do this. Now. This game is just weird. I know. I'm sorry. It's, it, it's been I'm, a weird day of games. Yeah, it has, <laughs> honestly. This yeah. is a very, very odd series indeed. Thorzane is that. There's a lot of SCVs in that mix as well. Thorzane is now rolling out with an army. He's been given time to rebuild, and Night End's obviously been macroing behind this, is in a good economic position. Admittedly, the SCV count is actually higher for Thorzane if you can actually. Force and Colossus, though, man. Uh, yeah, what answer does he have to the Colossus? I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? There's that, Col that Colossus doesn't have thermal Lance. No. Potentially, Thorzane could snipe it here, but he's not focusing on it. He's going for everything else. Now, the Colossus is ripping through the front lines of Thorzane at this point. And it's mutually assured destruction, actually, on both sides. They're all losing tons of units. And both are forced back with the Colossus Falls as well. Well, who at 70 minutes and 30 games out of the predictions would have said it was 69 supply versus 80? What is this Like, game? they haven't gone over 100. Yeah. I think one time Thorzane was over 100, like 105 or something, but... This is unconventional, to say the least. Between these it two. They're just, they're, it's like, well, would you like an army? It's a slug fist slug fight. Fest. Yeah, indeed. Slug fist for this fight, man. S slug fist. Slug that would fist be a very dangerous attack, I, I know, feel. Slug, slug fist. fist. Like, oh, God, it's covered in slugs. I know, look, like that's terrible. That, that's double a, forge. Or no. Is that a single forge, actually? That's a, yeah, single forge. Okay. Down there. I don't know. Uh, maybe this, for Thorzane, this <sighs> is perhaps from his laddering. He's, he's, he's donating a Night End an army in the spirit of the season. But he's going to take the gold. And Night End's army right now is not large enough to stop him from doing that. 
and Thorzen gets back into the game again. And I know it's nobody can predict how this game is going to go at this point. It's I don't crazy, think. and we do have Zealot Charge coming as well. But as soon as his score bases up, and which Knight End can see, he doesn't want to allow this. This mm -hmm. is not. This is a horrible position for him to be in. To know that this looks like a third base to him. Uh, understandably, it's been picked up from the main. It's it's only two base, but it looks like yeah. a third base to Knight End. Um, he's expecting the gases to be taken in the main, and so I'm mining from the gases there. So he's like. Holy crap! Uh oh! Holy crap! He built a third CC in his main and he's lifted it over. Oh, I'm in so much trouble right now. I have to go. And I don't know if he can. If that bunker gets up and he gets inside, he's going to be very, very hard to crack this. Thorzen, if he holds this middle though, man, if he holds this middle, this is going to be the craziest game I've seen all day. Um, this is maybe, maybe not actually. Teal is pretty crazy. But <laughs> I was going to say you, you do remember what we just uh, cast, right? Teal, Teal is pretty crazy. But Zealots are not at the front right now. It's a huge mistake by Knight and needs to get them there. But this army, um, currently no upgrades for Knight End. Plus one is making a big difference for Thorzain in these fights. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And Knight End's going to just snipe away and just try and claw in. He's got to take this out. He must oh, stop good. it. Yeah, he's, he's forced it to lift up, and Thorzain does not want to engage here. There's not enough yet. Vikings either. There's, there's yeah. literally three against three Colossus. That's so not, Colossus yeah. are going to live for so long. Oh, nice nice force fields. Really filtering the units through that middle pocket. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and Colossus is going to rip through that. Yeah. And I think that's going to be the deciding factor is that there's not enough anti-Colossus out here. Four Vikings now. Um, a lot of this army is actually SCVs, if you think about it, because it looks a lot bigger than it actually is. Yeah. Um, I mean, in the army supply, I don't know if army supply counts as SCVs at this point. No, uh, no. It's, <laughs> it's like, no, these are actually my army. They're, they're actually, it's my army supply. Yeah, Thorsen going with the standard 35 SCV <coughs> composition right yeah. here in his army, which is you know, totally normal, and everyone should simply do that right now on ladder. Yeah. Please do that on ladder. I would like some free points. Whatever the case, Night End is getting in the position where he can take this out again. He, Thorzen did try to get take the goal, which was a bit risky. And yeah. I mean, he didn't even try to hold it, but I guess, you know, he, since he had no answer to the Colossus, there's nothing he can really do there. And uh, now takes the base up to the top, and Night End is actually still on two bases. Yeah, he's he'll, take two the, he'll take the goal pretty much now. Yeah. Um, in a second, he'll take that as he reaches 400 minerals, but... Um, I, he doesn't know about this top right, top left base, but he suspects it's, it's happening. Yeah, yeah, but so. CC got away, so where else would it be, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm actually surprised he's not taking the gold base. So he's, he's just like, all right, whatever. All right, let's go play on two bases. Let's just kill him. Yep. I've spent all my money in units and go kill. So. Yeah, surprising play from Night End. Surprising play from both of these guys this entire series. It's yeah, it almost feel like they're sort of playing off the cuff play here. That there's some weird engagements. There's some army trades going on and. Right now, Night End looking to uh, try and deny this third base, and yeah. he should be able to do this, honestly. Those ain't can't believe that Night End hasn't expanded either. There's like a single Marine, like, yeah. really? What? Where, where are you? Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, and now this is going to come up. I just think there's too many Colossus. Now, there's five Colossus versus five Vikings, seven Vikings even. It's still not enough. Not enough Vikings. They don't have any upgrades either. But at the same time, Night End's playing very patient. He wants to get this army up as high as it can before he has to go in, but... Every second now he doesn't go in, he's given Thorzey the chance to come back once again. Because he's mining from that top left base. Yeah, Night End uh, just needs to actually go and kill him, honestly. He's got another Archon in there. Surely that will be the kind of size of an army you want. He has the significant army supply count advantage. Let's see, can Thorzane, once again the King of Holds, be able to hold on that? He's certainly not the King of Gold, I can tell you that. He just gave that up without a fight, but he's going to have to hang on to this blue base here, because if he loses that, then that pretty much is him done. Vikings looking for a decent position, seeing if they can snipe a Colossus or whatever, but that's not going to be the case. And in comes Night End for the final engagement of this game. You'd think so, anyway, but you never know, yeah. considering the way that this has gone. That's a big ball of Marauders here, and the Zealots really don't do actually all that much. Uh, the problem the Vikings is are gone. The, the Colossus count is at four. It, it, that's Two the problem. Two Vikings about to mu fly into their death, and uh, unfortunately, there's no anti-Colossus, which means... Four Colossus, despite not having any upgrades, is still going to do a lot of damage yeah. here. 25 Marauders, and this is a good engagement point for Night End as well, and he knows it. Yeah, yeah. He wants to engage there because there's no way the Marauders can get close enough in order to actually kill the Colossus. And while they can tank damage for a while, they will eventually just melt under that extended Thermal Lance firepower. As you can see right there, uh, the army of Thorzane is being destroyed rapidly. Night End holds most of his Colossus alive. That weak one finally goes down, but GG. Night End advances. Thorzane wow. is out on the round of eight. There you wow, go. I really didn't expect that one. No, no. no. I thought I really thought Thorzin would have had the edge there. So anybody that predicted 2-1 Night End, you're going to be in the chance to win this Q pad, mouse pad. And if you like to support Night End, please go to his Facebook fan page, facebook.com slash fanatic Night End. Go Indeed. tell him how good he played against Thorzin. And he's been doing well recently. You know, top four at DreamHack 
winter 2011 yep. now advances through here as well it's a good play it's good yeah it is it, it, that game was very very odd as we said uh, there were some weird army trades going on there and a little bit of miscontrol here and there but eventually it just comes down to hey I've got five yep. Colossus you only have uh, this many Vikings and thanks to my control and thanks to my position there's just there's no way you're getting in there at any point Vikings go down and then what do you do well I mean, you could say how much is, you could say that Night End decided just to yeah. a move at that point. It was like, well, no, he the positioning was really good for mm -hmm. him at that point. It was exactly where he needed to go because the one last risk was that he engaged in too open an area and the Marauders got close enough to snipe off the Colossus. Yeah. If that had happened, then that could have turned that game around again. But he engaged on that choke point between the natural and the third deliberately to stop that from happening, and there's nothing Thorzen could do at that point.